All right, uh, minutes from April 12th. Everybody have a chance to look at them? Yes. Well, let's make a motion to accept if that's what you'd like to do. They, they're fine. I, I realized it says in there that we will put a timeline for the, on the application for the uh, 60 day limit yeah. for the appropriate committee approving it. And all I put on the application was a statement that it was necessary. I, I don't think there's, I, I don't think there's a real problem with, with the two, but if somebody was being a stickler, they might. I don't mind at all taking it on. <laughs> you know, well, just say, I, I, so it just right. says that something will be on the app, that the application will reflect this or something like that. I think it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Either way, I mean, either way, at least it's, we're getting the feedback from the applicant. Yeah. So do you want me to leave it the way it is or take out the timeline reference? I, I don't care. I don't care. I mean, I, I actually went on just before the meeting to look at what you had done and it's completely clear <laughs> that it's a 60 day <laughs> limit. You know? That's all we want to accomplish. Okay, so we got a motion to approve the minutes as written. Second, please. Uh -oh. Second. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed, say nay. Unanimous. We have one, in my opinion, poorly crafted request for funding. I don't know where to start. Um, did you happen to get my email, Alan, I sent you earlier? I did. Okay. I did. And I, I, I tried looking back. I, I just got the email the last 15 minutes. I was looking back trying to find it. But you're right. They did have money for fence. I'm just not sure it's the same fence. Well, if they're going, the thing is, if Wayne's going, the picture I see that the he, part of this project is that diagram off of that project. So I, I'm trying to figure out if he's going off of that project. So. Because we've already given sixty thousand dollars for the project that this right this is presented as a completion of that project or a right. follow on. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Andrew's so saying the fence was part of the first sixty thousand dollars. Right. Oh. Why are they asking for it again? If unless it's a different fence, and that I couldn't determine mm -hmm. before we came online. So we got to figure that out. Yep. Um, the quote is like, I don't know, my granddaughter wrote it. It's not even a quote. It's just some numbers put together. And, and I know we don't require competing quotes for a lot of things like the silo or for headstone restoration, because there is only a couple people who can actually do that kind of work. But as far as buying $10,000 worth of fencing, there's probably 20 different companies in Franklin County that can provide that kind of fencing. Yeah. And I don't know where they got the number from or if they um, compared it with anybody else. Well, Maybe that's not our job. I feel it is. Well, yeah. they're supposed to justify their budget. Mm -hmm. Well, if they say they're also, using the same, I guess the same fence that was used at the East Cemetery, but I mean, are they using the same company that, that does that? that means or? Same style, I think. I guess the same style, or are they use the same That's company. That's the way I read it. It's probably L and L. Mm -hmm. Which is, um, yeah, I, I, I'm not just. I'm I'm agreeing with what your criticisms, but I'm I'm guessing it's probably L and L. Yep. So so we've already made a grant for this project that included fencing. So that's number one, I'm, just, I'm on the minutes now. That's yeah, number yeah, one. No, yes, yep. Did they do that? Apparently they didn't. And if not, what did they do with the money? <laughs> right. Or this could be a different 810 yeah. feet of fence. Yeah. Yeah. Need clarification. Yeah. Well, if it is a new project, they didn't come, the other thing would be that they didn't come before the CONCOM because they are near wetland borders. They would have to come before us to look at it and approve it before they actually went, you know, went to another committee board to say right. that, yeah, we approve this. So it's like. Well, they say their application says that it's been recommended by the Conservation Commission somewhere. Mm, in it. No, it was just, 
in the text. It says check recreation. That's all I see. No, it's it's on the, somewhere in the on the cover, maybe the cover email. The Concom no, the, wanted a planting guide. They said nothing about the fence. It mm. says in conjunction with the Conservation Commission, there was a planting guide developed. Right. Right. Because this was Terry Reynolds had put the original project that came before us at the Concon. That's what I'm saying. Are they is he just going off of that project that was brought before us? Or is this a completely different project that they're working on? That's why I'm that's why I'm totally confused. It says here, Andrew, maybe we'll, this will make you think. Um, the project also requires that the current split rail fence that runs along the riverbank mm -hmm. be relocated to the edge of the pavement where the bit so the, to prevent the vehicles from parking too close to the riverbank. Right, is right. That that, is that something the CONCOM? Yeah, that was something that we had to approve on that plan. I got a feeling we're talking about the same fence. Yeah, that's what I thought, because I'm looking at the plan, the plan that he submitted with this, and that's the exact same plan that I reviewed for that project. Yeah. And all of uh, all those trees were written on the plan. I don't mm -hmm, quite mm -hmm. understand why they're coming back for the money. That's what, yeah, that's why I said I'm, I'm totally confused. If they're going off the original plan, which we funded, are they looking for more funding? It's so like, did we get? kind of an accounting of how that went the first the sixty thousand dollar project ever i haven't seen or heard of anything yet i know they're just kind of wrapping things up not too long ago so i'm not yeah. sure that and they use staff time like they right it, they incorporated the work sort of with work with our with Whaley the, staff the highway right? department so, did a lot of work down there right. yeah, yeah the, well, the highway department did all of the tree work i know i think that it was just a company that came in that did the paving yeah and supposedly the fence catherine you get Jarris uh budget stuff I, right i do i just haven't actually gone in and looked at any of the well, i was like, just wondering if you could call it up and see how the spending what that, for that project, project looked like mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll do that. Just give me one second. I'm yeah. multitasking in the kitchen, so <laughs> I'll, I'll move for that. I also, I was struck by the, I mean, the $200 cost for, you know, the red oak trees, which are, you know, the second most common tree in New England. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, you know, I understand maybe that, maybe the, a company is going to come plant them or maybe they're pretty sizable trees but i mean i don't know it seemed like an awful lot of money for 14 trees to me yeah like you said there's no real detail to like alan said there's no it's just hastily put together there's no real detail like is it like you said is a company doing this are they getting it from asami because it's local plants or whatever yeah it's just right. or what maybe the size, coming, is, the size <clears throat> of the plants mm -hmm. or maybe coming from somebody like jake schrader who probably can get plants like that wholesale yeah, we're snow. Yeah, that's why there's no, we got, we got, that's a possibility. It's interesting. Jake, Jake might be doing the town a favor by using his wholesale to get these trees and plants. I had a different question, which is whether the bid, the budget was simply the purchasing of the tree or the planting of the trees. Um, because at the tree hearing last week, Judy, you were on it. I think I heard Keith say that he's his budget doesn't often have enough money to cover the planting and his so his guys are sometimes doing that themselves, but it's not addressed. I mean, it's I would assume they're assuming that Keith will do it, but um so uh Another question that is not addressed is um, the time specific, yep. time sensitive nature of it. Mm. I mean, the yep. climate is crazy now, but typically you either plant trees in October, <laughs> you know, or I mean, maybe November now because it's staying warmer, but who knows right. this fall or maybe in the spring, depending on the weather, but the chances that our process would be finished in time, there is some chance it would be finished in time to purchase trees and plant in October, but last year we didn't finish. 
with the, wasn't it into November, Judy, by the time we had oh, yeah. the town meeting? I guess and then and then we had to push to get it done. Yeah, it is not a, that it's not addressed in the application. All right, we need a narrative to why this is an off cycle project. Because mm. <clears throat> the last submittal date was June 9th. When was the last day, Judy, for it projects? Yeah. Last week. Last, okay. last week, it was Tuesday last week. So that okay, was so it was. Okay. And this is, you know, this is ironic because I'm probably the person on the call who is least interested <laughs> in summer baseball or softball. Mm -hmm. But we keep saying we would fund the batting cage yeah. and they keep putting it into town, the town money. And that actually I could understand might be time sensitive if they wanted it to be ready for next summer. Um, I mean, that's now water under the dam or over the dam, whatever the expression is. <laughs> oh, I understand. Yeah. I can understand this being time sensitive if they want to get these trees planted in the fall time, but I'm not sure, like you guys just said, that the money would be available in time. Not unless they ask for a special town meeting, which for $14,000 doesn't seem justified somehow. No. And it feels like we're quite a few steps away from being able to do that because I really do now feel like I want to take a dive. The reports we get, the monthly reports, this reminds me, I usually only use it to look at the revenue, but the CPA one only shows the total expenses. It doesn't really have a detail. So I'll ask Dara to there's send one that us. Shows, there's one that shows each each bucket, each project and how it's um, how it's doing but not what has been not what the expenses were no yeah, but you can look at the total of what was voted compared to what it's been spent 99 point whatever of it has been spent okay but um yeah but you don't I'm know interested what. in actually looking at how it was yeah. used yeah. at this point yeah if you need the buckets Catherine I had when I pulled up the article from us it was in March it was the Open space reserves in the what's the uh forty five thousand from the community preservation fund open space reserves and fifteen thousand from the community preservation fund unreserved fund balance mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that's where the that's where the two funds came yeah. from yep when did this all happen this was all done so what got rolled this into the current month. fiscal year was fifty thousand so I think. At between town meeting and July 1st, they got started last summer. About 10, they spent less than $10,000 because it was, was 60000 Okay. Right, last summer. Mm -hmm. And then they've spent almost 50000 between July 1st and now. All right. Oh, oh, and, but we can't see the but, spending. But I can't see the detailed items. And I'll ask yeah. Dara to send a report of that account for all the expenses and try and look and see. But I think then at the same time, we ask for who? Well, uh, Wayne or somebody to come and explain how the project went or Jonathan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't, because I don't want to put words in their mouths by no. just saying, yeah, they spent this much at LNL and they did this, right? Like I can make a story up, but I could be off because I don't really know. Well, and, and we won't get the whole story by looking just at the CP, C, CPA grant because there right. was, a, there was another grant. Yeah. Um, yeah, but we can go back and look at what they asked us for. And if it was for that fencing. Right. Well, and the, and the plants. I mean, I think the plants right. were in that plan, too. I think so, too. So right. this happened. So, so this we this application came to us in December of twenty. 21. We approved it in 22. In the spring of 22, right? Yes, that's, yes. that's right. Yes. Right. Yeah. I okay. have it, the original proposed, their proposal. Um, sorry. I'm... That one was very good. Hannah did it. Well, yeah. right? it, was, it was so long and detailed that I probably never actually read it. 
just in the spirit of well, you, you don't have time to read it now. So. No, no. What I was going, what I, what I, um, I, I do have it. So if it would be helpful, I think I can't manage to do this while I'm dealing with the Zoom. Okay. But I could email it to everybody else. Well, I, yeah. I have it too. So yeah, yeah. Almost, we almost have it. It's just, just, right. Uh, it's just a matter of digging it out. Yeah. Just two miles, it. yeah. I got like 880 emails in my CPA folder. <laughs> I can't find nothing. So maybe I should talk to Wayne and see what these guys are thinking before we go too much further. Yeah. There's, too, there's way too many questions. And these are the questions I got. Who are the, where is the quotes coming from? Why don't they have competing quotes? Are the quotes for the trees and plants installed or not mm -hmm. we need a narrative as to why this is an off cycle application before you get off the quotes we need some information on the size of the size of the planting i mean the height of the trees or, or the diameter or whatever, whatever. Yeah. something yeah okay um I mean, seven of ferns they're not the ferns are not trees <laughs> you know so uh, if they're thinking they want to do this this fall will a special meeting in october probably november be too late to leave them the plant right. so they shouldn't be asking for money right now but isn't and, and alan did you say this that we also have to say were these expenditures in the parc slash cpa grants they already received Right, right. <laughs> and if not, why not? Because they're on the plan. <laughs> so do we already fund these projects? Right, right. And a simple one is, why don't they have the rec commission signing off on this yet? <laughs> Aren't they supposed to go to <laughs> the rec commission to get approval? Yeah. 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 Well, they've got they've got sixty days from last Tuesday. <laughs> okay, they've got fifty more days. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> and and what about the conservation commission? You know, are, Andrew, are you checking to see what that means, or just well, it's like the it? conundrum because if they're going off the plan that was, you know, originally donated us, yeah, we signed off on that plan, but. If this is another plan, we have to look at it again and approve that plan. So it would be a whole other process that we'd have to set up and look through it. All right. So if this is different than the original, the one you already approved, they need to right. come back and see you guys. Yep. I mean, the, the park proposal, grant proposal, was not developed by the Recreation Commission. It was developed by Hannah Davis and Brian mm -hmm. Domina. Yeah. So Brian might be better. We may have to check in with Brian as well. Well, you should start with Wayne anyway. He, yeah, he yeah, should yeah. be on top of it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll get up. At least you know, which road we're driving down. And maybe you, you, Alan, you, am I right that you've already said to Wayne, it would be really terrific to have a rec commission meeting member who was active as part of this committee? Yes, and I will push him again. Absolutely. Is it a requirement? It's, a, it's not elected, so it's not a requirement that you're a town resident, is it? Uh, but I thought oh. we said the CPA was supposed to be a member from each of the boards was supposed to be part of the committee to solve these issues. He's asking if a rec commission person need be a town resident, I think. Right. Oh, no. I, so. I don't know. I, don't, I would I don't suspect know Chris, so, Is Chris Williams on the rec commission? I know he's like the recreation director. Not but anymore. Yeah. He, had to, he had to resign. I know he had to resign being a chairman, but he, he had resigned everything. He had to resign board? as a member when he became okay. a paid staff member. Okay. Does he not? I know. He does he not live in Waitley? No. Okay. No, I'll talk to Wayne about that too. 
maybe maybe <laughs> even a staff person would come if if we can't get the rec i mean i don't know how that would go over with the rec committee but maybe he would come as their paid staff person if they can't get a volunteer to come right right um, i mean irrigation proposal a year ago six months ago rather was uh, that less, he was the handwritten it, one it was, that was less strong than this proposal <laughs> right that was the handwritten i remember it now you're right so that might not be of service but at least to get updates and information i no, feel like I we've been stuck a number of times come and sit in. i'm not sure he could vote yeah but but communication is the issue yeah. one issue <laughs> one issue I assumed when Jonathan was answering about the application that he was planning to be at the meeting, but that's so did I. Yeah, I did too. And I thought because he was so excited about doing stuff at which he's still doing at Tritown Beach, and then now he realizes that the CPA money available for that. I really thought he would be right, but who knows what his situation is too. <clears throat> All right, I will report back. <laughs> <laughs> one other thing I'd like to talk about, well, at least at least one more thing, is Judy and I were talking about hiring somebody using our administration, administrative money to do some of the things that Judy has been doing right along. Um, to ease her burden a little bit. Yeah. We have we have this eight thousand, nine thousand dollars in administrative funding for things like this. So did you guys all get what Judy some of the yeah. responsibilities yeah. that she was hoping to have somebody do? Yeah? Yeah. Like I said, we've been trying to do the same thing on the conservation commission, trying to get a paid agent to do some of like Scott's because he does all that, you know, all the filing and all that stuff. We were trying yep. to get the same thing. So yeah. All right. Judy, is there anything else you want to add to this? I mean, now's the time. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. I'm sure we can change it as we go along if we can well, find I'm sure it. I'm sure somebody's there and my the stuff I'm doing may not be the only stuff they might want to do, but right. As far as hourly wage, wage isn't that already set by the town, or no? Or do we can we come up with our own wage? I, I can't works. answer that. Yeah, I'm not certain. Okay. One of us is on the finance committee. Oh, uh, I resigned from the finance. Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine why. Yeah, well, everyone imagines that, but the the. The real reason is I just have too many committees and boards and they're not all in Waitley. And I was having too many nights, well, I've never home at night and too many nights where I had two different competing things. And I, I applied a last in first out approach. Um, <laughs> I, if I was gonna give up a committee, I that'd be the one. I, I did learn things, I did learn things. Yeah. I think the one thing, um, there's a like a secretary for the ZBA and the planning board, and that's one salary point you could start with. I'm not sure what it is, and I don't know if there are any others for any other town boards. But I'm sure Lynn or Amy would know. Yeah, yeah. I think that's where I may start if that's okay with you guys. I mean, this is open to anybody, so. If yeah. And if you guys want to do some of this, you're more than welcome to. I could we'll probably pay. help we'll with a you. little bit of it, but I, I, I can't commit to anything. And my, um, I'm an Uber driver right now for two suddenly oh. active. No, two oh. suddenly <laughs> active. A non-paid Uber driver. I'm like an unpaid Uber driver. Yeah, right. I, I have like two kids here now that. I didn't know about until last night because it's the last day of school and I don't know if anyone's expect I'm supposed to have dinner on the table for them before somebody's parent comes and then I'm taking one to <laughs> way almost to Shelburne later home oh, and geez. tomorrow I have to pick a kid up who's ending up in Northfield like these are frontier friends all of them but they're like from all over 
anyway, I'm, I'm beginning to think that my entire summer might look like this, which is fine. I want my kids to be doing stuff after a couple of years of not hardly ever leaving the house, but it's suddenly making me feel a little bit like I'm unclear what my availability is. And there, I think there are a couple of things on there, Judy, that might not easily transfer to a secretary. And if you want us to talk about well, those I don't think this things, is a job for a secretary. I think this is, it's, I called it technical. Yeah. For a reason. I think it's yeah. more for somebody with, you know, somebody with a little familiar act familiarity yeah. with treasury stuff would yeah the cpa stuff you can probably pick up fairly quickly but um, a lot of it is no. record keeping yeah yeah and i'm sure you'd be willing to help them out getting going yeah yeah actually right. amy, amy would be a very good candidate i don't know if she'd take on an extra job amy it would fit in with her regular job quite well amy, amy schrader yeah I think that's, How many where like, is she that's where I'd like to start. Time? That's good with you guys. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, that would make a lot of sense. And I think having a town employee who understands all of this would also be, would be good for all kinds of reasons. You're right. Yeah. yeah if she has so questions, like, she'll, she'll know where to go for answers. Yeah. Well, uh, one reason for doing it now is I can sort of help for a while, but I'm not going to be on the CPC forever. So you Why wouldn't not? just want to drop this in somebody's lap. So and and this would not have to go, this is something we could decide. Because no, we were paying um Mary, Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen take minutes, right. Yeah. Um yeah, no, that's our money we can decide. It's right. And if it turns out at some point it's no longer needed, then. No, I, think it's, I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Thank you. One other thing we have to do is appoint a liaison person for from the CPC to the Corn Quant project as it gets funded. <laughs> I thought Alan was hiding. <laughs> Alan, Alan is All the. Right liaison for the church one just means they get the communications and have to sign off on bills i don't mind doing it for this one too do you want to we have to, we have to vote it i think yeah. okay so I move, I'll, you do it <laughs> i move alan alan um be our liaison uh, second all in favor yeah, I was opposed. <laughs> Good enough. I'll do it. <clears throat> thank you. Well, thank you for bringing it up. I, I have a little bit of hanging business. Alan, did you talk to Bob Smith about the library expenses? Yeah. Does he yeah. have money? Does he have the money he needs? <laughs> I feel bad, bad for Bob Smith because it's obviously one hand doesn't know what the other hand is doing. Well, Apparently, was... he knew nothing about needing more money. Apparently, he thinks this came from Fedorowski, who dreamed this up. Uh -huh. um, he also said that they're afraid to even move the handicapped rat, uh, ramp because they think it's going to fall apart and they're going to have to build a brand new one. <sighs> So he's he's very worried about even doing anything to the handicap ramp. Uh, I'm uh, just for other people's um, edification. This came up because for some reason I was looking at minutes of the library trustees. I don't remember why uh, on the town's website, and I noticed that they had a discussion before town meeting about how the bid for taking the handicapped ramp off so that they could do the full restoration of the platform um, the, uh, of the front porch uh, came in at over $3,000 and they were kind of said they were worrying about it. Sorry, I don't know how Bob Smith couldn't have known about it since I read about no, I it. Don't it. <laughs> so it's, I don't know, but um, so, all right. Yeah, he actually generally acted surprised that like he was hearing this for the first time that 
they may be coming to us for three thousand dollars so well they didn't i mean the minutes no, didn't suggest didn't that. That. the minutes didn't suggest that at all I, okay. I i thought you know we gave them the eight thousand dollars they asked for for some other small capital projects we put a little roundup in it because of um yeah. you know, inflation and they they didn't ask for that we didn't do it so it, it, it's probably a non-issue. I mean, no, they did not. They did not ask for it at all. Okay, it was just my idea of wanting the project to be done properly. <laughs> okay. Well, I think they have a trust fund or whatever you want to call it that could. I was just going to ask multiple trust funds. How much if they were doing? Yeah, I didn't know if they had a reasonable amount or not. I know some libraries do better than others in that vein, but. Bob, Bob Buda left the, quite a bit of money and they, they have been yeah. using it, I won't say sparingly, but um, Judicious, ju judiciously. judiciously. That's, that's the word. Yeah. <laughs> Good word. <laughs> All right. So maybe it needs to be re taken off or maybe it doesn't. They, Bob wasn't sure. I know. It opens a can of worms, doesn't it, Donna? Yeah. It's a project in itself. Yeah. Well, it would, it's not a big grant, but it would really be nice if it was done, if it was what? done thoroughly, <laughs> you know, and not, because um, one of the problems they have with those steps, we've had this conversation before, is that well-meaning trustees have done patchwork probably for free and, you know, it needs to be done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, Bob Smith is the chair and he is now aware that we are aware so hopefully they'll get it figured out. Anything else? My daughter had a baby boy yesterday. Hey. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, my first grandson. Congratulations. Thank you. Andrew Patrick Murphy. Irish or what? <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, great. on that note, nobody's got anything else? No. Nope. All so right. Will we meet in July or we yeah, will... we're going to meet in July and at least to report what the Red Commission is doing. Catherine and I can't meet on the second Wednesday because that's the night the the FERCOG person could come for the housing production plan review for the planning board. So okay. maybe the yeah. third. Wednesday. Third seems okay. The, the 19th? Yes. Okay. Okay. Have a talk via Zoom. Bye. Super. Bye. All Bye. Right. Bye. 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 Bye.